Just 24 hours after the president made that announcement about Jerusalem, officially recognizing it as the capital of Israel and saying we will move the embassy there, there have already been flare-ups and protests in ABC's James Longman witnessing it firsthand tonight. Tonight, the violence President Trump was warned about. Protesters burning images of him after his announcement recognizing Jerusalem as Israel's capital. <laughs> Anger boiling over in the streets. Hezbollah's leader tonight blasting Trump, saying he fired the last bullet at the peace process. Palestinians throwing rocks at Israeli forces. The Israelis firing back. We've been watching this back and forth between young men and the security forces all day. They've been shooting. <laughs> Our team caught in the tear gas used to disperse the crowds. These sorts of scenes you often see in this part of the world. The fear this time is that if people really start to believe that the peace process is dead, <clears throat> then these grow. Over 100 injured in Palestinian territories, protesters doused with water cannons. Tonight, the leader of Hamas denouncing President Trump, even calling for a third intifada or uprising. President Trump's speech has lit a spark. David? James Longman in Jerusalem for us again tonight. Thank you, James.